is the first ever Zero Waste performance venue at the Edinburgh Fringe. It's made entirely out of found and recycled materials. As well as that, it's a creative and social space, uh, encouraging like discussion and engagement around the idea of sustainability at the Fringe. Fringe is an awesome festival that takes place in Edinburgh throughout the whole month of August. It's just a great place for creatives or anyone who is interested in any form of expressive medium to come and see some awesome things. Obviously, like having the largest arts festival in the world at our doorstep is a, is a real blessing. I think that there's this perception that like the art has to come first above everything else. And that's above sustainability. It's also above things like accessibility, financially, culturally, physically as well. The Fringe is obviously a long month of creative madness, but it can be very expensive and financially inaccessible for people to come to, both performers and visitors. And also it creates an enormous amount of waste. A lot of people are coming by and complaining about all the flyers they've been handed and how they all just go straight in the bin and there aren't enough recycling points. The Fringe has obviously been trying to make a lot uh, more progress with recycling bins. Like often you can see in all the venues they have like paper, plastic, cans, etc. But it's just not good enough. In our eagerness to have a fun festival, we create a lot of waste. We have tackled that in a couple ways. Uh, first of all, in the building itself, it's completely uh, made out of recycled or salvaged materials. Everything has a second life. We are, at the very least, the first point of recycling for everything we use, and we will recycle everything we have used further down the line. The greenhouse is basically trying to prove that you can make theatre and all other art forms that go on at the Fringe without as much of the waste, physical waste, but also as much of the energy consumption. So you go to a lot of music shows here and there are these, in these big venues with these big amps and, and lots of electricity used to fill a room. What makes the greenhouse different in terms of programming music is the fact that we don't have any mains electricity. Um, that's partly to do with like our ethos as a zero waste and sustainable venue, but also partly to do with the fact that we're in the middle of a patch of grass. I think that we've created a space where you can perform music that feels just as magical, even more so maybe, and doesn't require any of that at all. We are in a different uh, political, economic, um, scientific climate to what we were when it was set up. And so we need to look at things in a different way. We need to start thinking about sustainability, not as an add-on, but as an integral part to every um, practitioner's uh, way of working. What I'd like to say to other performers and people who are looking to come back to the Fringe is that uh, the Greenhouse is a very ambitious project. Um, we've got eight shows for the whole month. Uh, we created a building out of nothing. We created a completely new marketing strategy, but actually all in all, it wasn't that difficult. We had a small but really competent team and we all put in a lot of work, but if you break it down, we actually managed to do it quite easily. And then from our fringe this year and come next year and maybe reduce a lot of the paper waste that is created by the fringe because that does make a big, big difference. Um, and it's a really simple step, we hope, that can uh, have a big impact if, if artists lead the change to a more sustainable fringe in the future.